What's going on YouTube? This is Technically T bringing you another video today and today we're going to get into a what's on my iPhone 10 video. Now as you guys know, I do run the iPhone 10 as my daily driver alongside with my Samsung Galaxy Note 8. But I did a what's on my iPhone video maybe a year ago possibly when I had the 7 Plus. So I decided let's do a refresh video, let you know what apps I'm using because there could be some apps that you don't know about that I have on my device and you can actually benefit from this video. So let's go ahead and jump into it. I am going, I'm, I will be using the screen recording feature on the iPhone 10 and we're going to pop it up right here. So let's go ahead and jump straight into it. Now I'm going to keep the camera rolling. This is the actual view. I'm going to be looking at you, but I'm also going to be explaining and showing you all the apps as we go along. So starting off with, start with the top row, you know, we have our calendar settings, photo, and your camera, those never change, it is what it is. Actually, the first two rows never change on my phone. So we have FaceTime, Clock, Weather, App Store. Those are seven expansions, so there isn't really need to get into those. The next row, now let's go ahead and jump into some of my folders and go from here. So, right now on the, first, on the third row, we have Facebook. As you already know, everybody knows what Facebook is. We have our Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, Instagram guys, Please go follow me. I will drop the name somewhere around here or down below with something. It'll pop up somewhere. So follow me on Instagram. And uh, there it is. So next one, we have Apple Apps. Now, in, in Apple Apps folder, as you can see, I have most of the factory apps that comes on the iPhone. We have your Apple Store, Apple Support. We have our files, which I have all my files on iCloud Drive since I do have up to, I don't know, I think a terabyte or something on iCloud Drive. So there were a lot, I, keep, I keep a lot of my files in there. Calculator, notes, I use notes all the time, man, just jotting stuff down. I haven't got super smart yet when I'm asking Google Home or asking Alexa to, hey, add this to the shopping cart, add this to that. So I still go in, popping in my notes app, so I use notes all the time. iTunes Store, I rarely open that. Google Wallet, you already know, Apple Pay, things like that. Reminders, Apple Watch, and you can see the rest of the apps, guys. I mean, Compass, Tips, Voice Memos, Contacts, Find Friends, Find iPhone, Home Stocks, Mail, News, activity, TV, all of those basic stock Apple apps that you come on your phone. I have them crammed all up in one folder and I barely use half of them. Next, let's go to the shopping tab. Now, I do spend a lot of time in this because, as of course, we got Amazon, Amazon Prime for the win. If you don't know what Amazon Prime is or if you don't have Amazon Prime, you're losing. Unless you know somebody that has Amazon Prime and you're using their account. That works too. eBay, self-explanatory. Best Buy, I get tons of things from Best Buy. It's actually a store that I probably need to stay out of. Best Buy is literally across the street, man. I walk over there all the time, so store pickup, Best Buy, can't beat it. Nike, got your Nike app, ordering some sneakers here and there. I'm not a sneakerhead, but I will get an occasional pair of sneakers here and there. So that's what your Nike app and the sneakers app is for. Amazon Prime Now, I haven't used Amazon Prime Now in a long time. Basically what it was, if you don't know what it is, is basically you can order things on Amazon, they will actually deliver it to your house. I probably used that maybe once or twice. One time before I was having like a house party and I needed to get some things and I had people already on the way and I didn't want to leave because I, I didn't want to risk anybody coming. So I downloaded Amazon now, set everything up, ordered a few things like plastic cups, plates, things like that. And they delivered it right within the time frame that they said they were going to deliver it in. So that's a very clutch app if you choose to use it. But that's Amazon Prime now. Next, we have Let Go. Let Go, Offer Up, Craigslist, you know, all those apps are basically the same thing. But I like to use Let Go because sometimes you can rate people based on the experience that you had with them. So you're not going in too blind like you are Craigslist. Now, I used to do that stuff heavy back in the days. Now, in the days, I don't really meet up with Craigslist. I don't really do it unless I feel good about it. So that's what that app is for. Kind of likes Craigslist. Macy's, that's where I get a lot of my clothes from. So you got Macy's right there. Retail Me Not, you should know what Retail Me Not is. I don't do any online shopping without first going to Retail Me Not seeing if there's a coupon for it because half the time Retail Me Not has a coupon and it actually works to get a certain percentage off. So it's always worth downloading that app, see if you can get something off and use it. Maybe you can benefit from it. Overstock, you know, Overstock is you can get a lot of different items for kind of, you know, clearance price or low cut price besides going to your department stores and getting things like that. I tend to get my cologne and different things like that from Overstock. So there it is. Groupon, Craigslist, we just talked about it. Slick Deals, that's basically an app that shows you like daily deals of what's going on around tech or whatever option you actually choose. I don't really use it much. It could probably be deleted off my phone, but I mean, I'll leave it up there from time to time that I you know, decide to open it. Edible Arrangements, if you want to send that Edible Arrangements to somebody, there it is. 
Home Depot app. Sometimes I look up in the Home Depot app. That's also across the street from Best Buy from me. You can go in there and look exactly and see exactly where a product is besides you going around there fishing for it. Evine Network, that's kind of like Old Shop NBC. That's where I order a lot of my watches from. So that's Evine, Ikea. We all know what Ikea is. Pinterest, we also know what Pinterest is. And Kroger. That's why I do most of my grocery shopping at. I can go in, load coupons to my actual Kroger card, get those savings when you go grocery shopping. The grocery shopping, the little grocery shopping that I do do because your boy doesn't cook. So next, let's go to the social media tab. Now, I know a lot of you people definitely should be heavy about social media tabs. So right here, we got Groupon. Group, Groupon. We have GroupMe. GroupMe is basically, I'm in a lot of groups. Um, I'm in like an alumni chatter for my college there. Some of my gaming friends. I'm in like four or five different groups. They're all up in GroupMe. Facebook Messenger, we know what that is. Twitter, if you're not following me on Twitter, Technically, to you on Twitter, man, I do be tweeting from time to time. Uh, WhatsApp, usually I download that if I'm going on vacation, to, you know, to keep in contact with everybody. WhatsApp, Facebook page, you already know I got my technical to you. Facebook page tied to that app, so that's what that's for. Snapchat, now I don't have a technically technically to you Snapchat. If that's something you guys want to see, you want to see me on my everyday, I might well make actually make a Snapchat. Now I do have a personal one, but I don't like giving all my personal social media outlets to everybody but snapchat if you guys want to see one i got it i barely snap on my personal account as is but you never know it might be something i might do reddit linkedin gotta keep it business gotta keep professional so you have your linkedin profile twitch when i want to watch some gaming if i'm at work and it's slow or something like that pop up on twitch watch some gaming uh yelp we all know what yelp is jib jab that's just a funny app to where you can put your face in or, or do anything you want to and actually make it dance, do a whole bunch of crazy stuff. So that's what that is. Repost Wiz, that's basically a, um, a app that lets you repost anything you see on Instagram to your page, Hangouts, and sub count. I actually have my subscriber count widget that's on my notification screen. So that works as well. Heading over to entertainment, guys. We have YouTube, YouTube Studio. If you're a YouTube creator and you do not have YouTube Studio, I don't know where you've been. It is actually clutch to run a YouTube page. So we have that. We have Apple Music. We have Pandora. We got podcasts. I don't really listen to a lot of podcasts, but it's there in case I do run across one. We have HBO Go. If you have HBO, it's basically like an HBO Netflix. There it is. UVerse. I actually have UVerse. So if I want to schedule a show to record or something when I'm not at home, open the UVerse app. We do that. We got Netflix. My mixtapes. That's basically when I want to listen to some hip-hop, hip -hop, rap. Mixtapes, that's what I'll pop on. Shazam, for everybody, you know, if you don't know what Shazam is, basically if you turn on Shazam, you're out in public, don't know what a song is, turn on Shazam and it will actually, if, if, the, if the listening conditions are good, tell you what the song is. So that comes in clutch. I don't use it much, but when I do use it, it always comes in handy. Next, we got Ticketmaster. You know what Ticketmaster is, going to these concerts and things like that. Same thing with Eventbrite, Fandango, movie tickets, copying your movie tickets on your phone. It's not about getting manual movie tickets anymore, man. Get them from Fandango on your phone. And you got your Mixer app. Mixer is basically the Microsoft version of Twitch. So I do have my buddy that I usually follow on Twitch. CJ over at the Tech Couple, man. If you have not followed them, man, follow them over on their channel, man. They have an excellent channel. I'll drop that link to their channel below. Next, we're going to go to the travel folder, man. I'm trying to speed this up because I don't want to make the video too long because you guys don't want to sit here and hear me ramble about what's on my phone. But going to the travel, we have Waze. That's the, at the GPS app that I use, that I like to use. I use them all in different situations when we're talking about Waze, Google Maps, and Maps. But I like Waze because it lets you know where those boys is at on them late nights when you might be doing a little bit over the speed limit or if you go to Mexico, if you know what I mean. Google Maps, Maps app. I use Google Maps mostly when I'm local, going around local roads, but I use Waze when I'm on the highway. Next, we got Uber, Lyft. Both of you guys know, know that all. When me and my friends are going out, we usually have a few drinks, man. Do, please use Uber and p please use Lyft. There's no reason why you can go out here and get a DUI or endanger yourself or anyone else when you have apps like this that's out there. So please download them, guys. Use them for sure. MARTA app, I do live in Atlanta. This is the MARTA. This is our transit system. It lets me know when the trains are coming, what times they're coming, things like that. Kayak. Southwest, Fly Delta, as you guys know, those are all apps. United, Flights, there it is. Park Mobile, Park Mobile is an app. If you go park somewhere, you don't have to actually go back to your parking spot to add money if you have to pay for parking. You should be able to add them right through the Park Mobile app if the park, the way you're parking has this activated. Then you can do that. You don't have to walk back to your car. You can actually see how much time you have left and things like that. 
and keep it moving. It's a very handy app. Hotels.com, Airbnb, JetBlue, six renting cars. That's basically where it is. Hopper, Hopper lets you know an app. This app that lets you know if you're going somewhere, especially if you're going somewhere that's international where the ticket may be a little bit more expensive, you put that ticket in Hopper and uh, you put your dates, you put where you're going, and it lets you know when is the best time to buy the actual ticket. So it works very good. I used it last year when I went to Mexico. It worked excellent, man. I'm using it this year for another trip that I got planned out. So download Hopper if you want to watch a flight. It'll give you live notifications on when the best time is to buy the flight or if you want to wait a little bit before you buy the flight. So that's always good. Momondo, basically the same exact thing. Photography. Let's go to the photography app. We have your Canon Camera Connect, and this is basically where I transfer all of my photos and my videos, if I want to, from my camera to my iPhone. Camera Plus, that's just a little Camera Plus app where you can do a lot of filters and things like that to your picture. Layout, Boomerang, we know what those are. Instagram, Layout, Pick Stitch kind of Boomerang. When you get the little funny mess like that, I don't really get involved with all that, but that's what it's used for. Zedge, Wallpaper app, Jiffy, for your GIFs out here. Meme generator, if you have a meme, if you take a picture of somebody, make a meme out of, make a meme out of them. Meme generator. PixArt, I used to use my I used to use PixArt for a lot of my YouTube thumbnails, but I know I don't I know I don't really use that anymore. I actually do them actually on my computer now. So that's what it is for PixArt. You can do all your thumbnails straight from PixArt. Uh, LumaFusion, that's basically a very powerful video editing device for iOS. I use it on my iPad Pro when I had my iPad Pro mainly as my computing device. But I don't use it quite so much anymore since I use mostly iMovie and Affinity Photo to do all my editing things. So, But if you use iOS for your main editing device, LumaFusion must have. And it's a paid app and it, it'll run you about 25 bucks, I think. Uh, Tweetgram, if you basically want to put a post up or something with just a picture and the post on Instagram or something like that, I barely use it anymore. Tweetgram, no crop. No crop is basically when you take a picture, man, you want to put it on Instagram. And if you know Instagram sometimes will crop your photo. Download No Crop Man, and you can put that full picture on Instagram. Pick Stitch, you already know what that is. Fiverr, Fiverr is a very cool app for content creators if you do not know. If you're like me and I wasn't really heavy in the graphic design, I needed someone to create a logo for me. So, I needed a logo, and th there's a lot of graphic designers up there that creates very nice logos for you, man. It actually is very good. As you can see, freelance services for the lean entrepreneur. So, that's a very dope app. Go support those guys over there if you need any logos. YouTube intros, anything like that. They got you covered, man. Bitmoji, we know what Bitmoji is, man. You can pull up, open the Bitmoji. You might get a little sneak peek of my uh, Bitmoji. Actually, I think that changed up a lot, but we'll skip it. But you guys can see my Bitmoji down there, man. <laughs> iMovie, we know what iMovie is. Blur photo and resize photo. If you want to blur a photo, you want to resize the photo. That's what you do. Uh, Speeding it up, man. Like I said, this video is going to be too dang on long, man. But for my finance, man, we got Wells Fargo Banking, PayPal, Venmo Cash App, we all know what those are, man. Geico, that's my car insurance. I have Geico, my AT&T app, since I use that as my carrier. And I got some banking apps, Georgia Power, Power Bill, Mint, keep a track of your, you know, your spending and things like that. Resident Portal, Care Credit, and Google Wallet. Resident Portal, I pay my rent. Care Credit, basically what it is, man. Sometimes you can't afford those bills, man. You got to gotta do what you got to do. So Care Credit, man, Google Wallet, there it is. Next, let's go to my games. Now, I'm going to breeze through this fast, man, because I don't play a lot of games. Township is probably my most active game I play. Township, Xbox app. Hey, if, if you're not on Xbox, man, get on Xbox. That's where I'm at, man. iFruit, Grand Theft, Xbox app. You should already know what that is. Temple Run, Mario Run, Candy Crush, Pokemon Go. I barely play Pokemon Go anymore. Forza Tune. Forza Tune is for the game Forza Motorsports on uh, Xbox. You can put your car information in here and you can actually tune your car with this app. And it's a very cool app. Eight Ball Pool. I rarely play that anymore. And then we got your Turtle Beach app because I use Turtle Beach headsets for when I game. And this app lets you do, you know, tweak some of the settings that's a part of your headsets. Next, we got the food. Breezing through these real quick. Jimmy John's. We got Grubhub. We got Uber Eats. We got Tendrum, we got Fuda. Fuda is actually a service that comes to my office building and they have certain vendors that come and sell food and we can see who's coming all week there. Pizza Hut, Papa John's, Rise. Rise is a local pizza spot here in Atlanta we go, we go to a lot. Open Table, Domino's. So there you go. My utilities folder, this is basically a whole bunch of little extracurricular mess, man. We got Dropbox, we got FedEx, UPS. Let me know when those packages are coming. Efax, I probably only use electronic fax one time. Dash command, 
you got your Netflix genie, and this basically lets you know everything that's going on with your Netflix uh, router. One password, gotta have one password, man. It'll keep your all your passwords together if you tend to lose them and forget them like I do. Adobe, and we got speed test, no wait. Basically, what no wait is, is uh, it's basically an app if you go somewhere and you put in your name, you can track your tracking on No Wait if they have it available, man. Like, it's a very cool app. You can see where you are in line. If you have, like, a 30 or 20-minute wait, you can see where you are in line with No Wait. Um, next, real quick, Google Apps. I put all my Google Apps in here, so I have Google, Google Photos. I use Google Photos to back up all the pictures. Google Home, Drive, AdSense. You know what that is, man. News, CNN, Weather Channel, Sports. ESPN, watch ESPN. These are all basics and quick, man. And last folder, Cigna, which is my dental insurance, LA Fitness is the gym I go to, and the Apple Health app. So, and on the bottom row, guys, you have your phone, your mail, your text messages, and my Safari. And I use AirMail for my email client. So, I know that was a lot, man, but that's what's on my iPhone 10. And if you guys want to care, I am running the Spec Presidio grip on my iPhone 10 as my main case. And I run a one page type of deal. There is no second page. Everything is actually on one page surrounded by nothing but folders. So that is basically a what's on my iPhone 10 video, guys. Sorry it took so long, but if you have anything to do, sit there and watch the whole video, man. It should be pretty cool. Hopefully you got some apps out of it that you didn't know about or that you can find yourself downloading and using. But I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you didn't have, if you haven't already. Throw a like up to this video, and I'll catch you next time, guys.